When I went to Impressionism in the Age of Industry, the Art Gallery of Ontario's homegrown mega show, my first thought was, what cynical marketing. The word Impressionism sells, but this exhibition had few major Impressionist works. It was really more about Paris in the late 19th century, the Age of Industry. Its themes are urban planning and social change. They're illustrated by some paintings and prints, sculptures, maps, photos, films, interactive media, and only about one third of the works are by the primary Impressionists. Still, it's an engaging and stimulating exhibition, done with flair, that tells the story well. And then I read the catalogue, and the penny dropped. The curator, Caroline Shields, conceived of the show as an Impressionist exhibition. In classic, slightly academic art history fashion, the essays focus on the oil paintings of the core Impressionists. With the exception of Monique Johnson's photography essay, the text ignores the majority of the works in the exhibition. So we have a catalog and an exhibition that overlap in themes and works, but they're different beasts. The art historians explore Monet, Pizarro, Caillebot, Degas, and their crew, while the exhibition tells a bigger story with a wide variety of works. I have a few theories about what's going on. Theory one, the AGO didn't have the budget, holdings, or loans to pull off the promise focused on the Impressionists. Theory two, the primary curator conceived of the exhibition, but didn't ultimately implement it. Theory three, the modern blockbuster exhibition is a bit like a Broadway musical. It's a collaboration that draws upon many talents to engage many audiences. I enjoyed both the exhibition and the catalog, so there's no complaints. However, there's much more going on than the name of the exhibition implies.